It's my feel good breakfast show. I mean, can we just take a moment first to just say good morning to that sunrise? It's just a whole wow. new world, beautiful stuff. What a way to wake up. And speaking of incredible stories, yes. let's reflect on the story of one Nisha Varghese, who's a young leader, an incredible young leader, who despite her cerebral palsy, is using her strength wow. and her abilities to empower others to dream and achieve all that they can ever want. So one of her dreams was to actually, it was a feat of bravery that I don't think anyone saw coming. She wanted to paraglide off Signal Hill right there and Graham was there to witness her amazing act of bravery. Some do it to trade in their feet for a set of wings, but for Nisha Varghese, a paragliding adventure was aimed at breaking barriers beyond the physical. From my experiences and the multitude of interviews I've been very lucky enough to do, the term disabled needs to be scrapped completely from our vocabulary. There is only differently abled. Improving that every day of her life is 23-year-old blogger Nisha, who was born with cerebral palsy, but has not let that stand in her way at all. Today, she is going to be taking the plunge off Signal Hill for her first paragliding experience, and one hopefully she will never forget. But she's doing it more importantly to inspire other differently abled people to embrace the adventurous side of life and savour every second. The sobering 350-metre peak above sea level wooed Nisha, whose condition caused paralysis in four of her limbs, but enabled an unrelenting spirit to help others less fortunate. I must say, now that I'm sitting on the edge of Signal Hill, this has become very real for me. I would imagine, Nish, this has become very real for you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited and slightly nervous. But I'm sure it's natural since this is my, my first time paragliding. Are you crazy? I'm, Why are you doing that? I'm not crazy. <laughs> I, I just want to raise the awareness of other people of the Western Sahara and also to show people that anybody can do anything they want to do. You are Awesome girl, I, I'm feeling a little bit nervous for you, but you're in very good hands and the clouds have parted, it looks gorgeous. So Nish, good luck girl, enjoy it, all right? Thank you. All right, I'll be waiting for you at the bottom. Yeah. In addition to helping refugee children, Nisha has raised money to aid children with cleft palates through her smile campaign and even contributed to sanitation and HIV projects in Africa. She's an unbelievable leader and a hero, and today she's representing not just the amazing feat of being so brave and courageous, but today she's also representing the hopes and dreams of the Saharawi children that I work with in a refugee camp in North Africa, the children of the Western Sahara. She wants to make impossible things possible. She doesn't want to define her a disabled child. She wants to do all the, all the things that able-bodied people can do it. Good luck, Nish. Go for it, girl. Woo! And it's up, up and away, free from fear, gravity or mental barriers. Nish, you can tick that box, conquered that fear. How are you feeling? I feel incredible. Up there, it's got to be a completely different world. What did you see? What was the experience like? I saw Cape Town from a totally different point of view. This incredible, wow. Now, I know you, you really do believe that you can do anything, conquer anything. Do you feel even more confident now? I do. I, if I can jump off a cliff while on a wheelchair, and every one of us can do anything, Nisha believes every child deserves the opportunity to make a success of their life. With this kind of determination, she's a hero, leading the charge for social upliftment.